Welcome back to a vintage vlogmas day seven. I can't believe I've made it a whole week. This has been quite the commitment. I will say that there's been a couple of times where it's been very overwhelming. There's a lot of people that have found me and have reached out to me about the content that I've been making and you guys are so nice. Okay, so for today, I said yesterday that uh, we were going to be going on a little bit of a treasure hunt and hitting up a couple places. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit up more than one place today, but I'm pretty sure I will be able to find what I'm looking for at this one location. I'm actually looking for just an antique door. That's it. Preferably not with glass and also would prefer not with too much detail. I've done this several times before where I ordered these hairpin legs off of Amazon and you can get them at different heights and sizes. Every time that I do it for like a, a slab of wood or a door and I put those legs on, it always ends up being a really great seller in my booth. You know, sometimes the door needs like a little bit of work, a few nails to pull or it needs to be cleaned and then put a protective coat on it. But for the most part, that's a pretty easy project and it's great for display and setting stuff up. So that is what I'm looking for today. I need a door or a slab of wood of some kind so I can create a new table for the booth, but also to sell. But before we go do that, I think I need another coffee. We're gonna go to Perks. I haven't been there in a while and it is close by. So let's go get a Perks coffee. Aww. Sadie's sitting in the driveway watching me pull away. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, could I please do a 20 ounce hot vanilla latte? Reve, please. Right when we pulled up, there were doors outside. So we'll have to check those out to see if there's any options there, but they might have, I see something else over here on the side. Okay, I think we, I think we might have, we might have already hit success before we even gotten into the building. Let's check these out. See, I, whoo, it's loud. Sorry, we're right by the road. I, I like that, it's just, I don't want the glass. So like, this is a decent option, but if I can find one that's like, flatter and doesn't have the panels that would be ideal Ooh, and there's architectural salvage in here too oh man look at all this wild stuff this is just on the side we haven't even gotten inside yet i might have to pick up a few concrete bunnies while i'm here this is kind of more of what I was thinking of, but this isn't bad. It looks like, oh, definitely we need to clean all that off. If I could like power wash that and put a protective coat on it, that wouldn't be a bad option. It, this just looks like it's like a weathered wood. So we'll keep this one in mind. this chair it's small but I love the color on it and the design <laughs> I always find the creepy stuff it's getting a little tight oh my gosh So creepy. So this is the hardest part is just focusing because I, I need to find a door, but there's so many little things that I want to touch and look at. Look, there's a whole nother floor. There's a whole nother one. We have so much to see. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Oh. <laughs> what does it say? Hawaiian vase. In Japan. Another wood card box. Now I gotta start a pile up at the desk. Can I start a pile up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. 
I can't figure out a strategy for looking at all this stuff. And I don't know what to show you guys because there's so much to freaking see. So if it seems like it's all over the place, that's because I'm all over the place and I don't even know what the heck I wanna look at right now. Look at those mantles. Oh, that is beautiful. This one behind, this one looks really interesting. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. What does the price tag say? $2.98, that is, that's not awful. And then this one is $2.90 as well, so. Hmm, my gosh. Can you imagine the house that would have had to fit this hall tree? My gosh, dolphin hall tree. Ooh, some more holiday tumblers. Good prices. 18 for all. And look, there's mugs too. Ooh, I kind of like these glasses. Ooh, they're nice and solid and heavy. Where's the price tag? It's right there. Ooh. Okay. My strategy when I'm out picking, especially at a place like this, is I go through, I find stuff that I like, and when I'm done, I go back through, get those items, and purchase them, if they're still there. If they're not, it just wasn't meant to be. Unless I really, really like it, and I know for sure I wanna get it, then I start making a little stash up at the counter. That table would match uh, my new wall clock. 145, maybe one day. These are cute. What are these, ashtrays? Or are they, um, what are they called with salt? Or are they for uh, little tea light candles? Is that what they're called? I think that probably makes most sense. Those are cute. Salt wells, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think they're for salt wells though. I love the colors on this and it's wood. Look at that. It's a drying rack. 340. Really cool though. Look at this bench. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow, though. Look at that. That's huge. That is at least seven, eight feet, seven and a half feet. No success on the door yet, but that's mostly uh, my fault because <laughs> I keep looking at everything else. <sighs> Man. Just. Good God. My question is like, if somebody buys something, how do they get it out of here? Where, where do you go? Like if I got something in like, like this, you have to get it through all of this to get it out that way. I would be sweating the whole time, especially if it had glass or marble on top of it. I'd be sweating. That is absolutely beautiful. Is there a price tag? Dang it. I don't see one. Wow. I wonder what they're asking for that. Needs some work, but it, nothing I can't handle. Another wood card box. Oh, it's got this crack. How bad is it? Just a little hard to open. Still very cute. This was kind of difficult. I had to like hold it down and pull up. Let's see. Handkerchief box for 12. It's 
Very, very cute. Ooh, a bust. It's got some weight to it. Eight bucks. I'll take her. Four dollars for the pair. Yep. Come to me, beautiful. Candelabra, maybe, is what I would call this, but that is, ooh, that is gorgeous. I'm always on the hunt for marble lamps. I actually have one in my office, and this is such a great pair. It's hard to find pairs. Check out this pie safe. Wow. Yep, that's about right. It's, it's a pretty unique piece. Ooh. Yeah. When I say this, I don't mean they're not still a big deal, but remember when pie safes were like a huge deal? I think like four years ago or five years ago, you could not get your hands on a pie safe. They were selling like hotcakes. If you had a pie safe and you were selling it, you were gonna make some money. I feel like that trend's kind of cooled down a little bit. It's still popular, but not nearly as popular as I feel like it was five years ago. Look at this artwork. I don't see a price tag, but it looks like it's on linen and it's birds made of actual bird feathers. Oh my gosh, is this a sketch of a cow? Let's check out downstairs. Is this room? We'll come back to this. Wow. Look at this sign. I'm pretty sure it's fiberglass, but that is Quite interesting. Is it double sided? No, just the one side. I don't think I see a price tag on it. Nope, no price tag. I haven't seen any other doors yet, so I might be going with the one that we spotted outside. But I am finding a bunch of little things that I'm definitely taking home. I'm just gonna check with the owner uh, upstairs to see if they have anything, like another little stash of doors somewhere. I'm just gonna ask. I also spotted this. Now it looks like an actual tabletop at one point. I'm not really sure. And I like the design on it. I was hoping for something a little more narrow. Ah, it's got someone's initials in the middle. Yeah, that's probably not exactly what I'm looking for. I also like these a lot. Printer trays for 18 a piece. That's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. Mm. It's long and skinny and narrow, and that's, <laughs> that's what I'm interested in. That long, I'm guessing it's like a case, is exactly what I'm looking for. She had to call the person who owns it about the price, and he could not remember what it was. He's gonna come back and look at it, and then they're gonna call me tomorrow with a price, and then I guess I'll decide if I wanna purchase it or not. And then I'll have to come back either tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday to pick it up. So technically, I found exactly what I was looking for, but we weren't able to purchase it because they need to remember what it is, I guess, and see it in person. I didn't hold myself very accountable though because I found a bunch of other cute little stuff that I could not pass up. So we are quickly losing daylight and it is getting more and more windy. So I'm just gonna do a really rough haul and show you guys what I found. Hi, Zuzu. This is Zoe, you guys haven't met Zoe yet. So while Zoe's sitting here, first I, all the dogs wanna be on camera. All right, one of the things was this little cream crock. I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not. Some of the finish on the outside has come off. Doesn't really bother me too much. 
um, I got this for a pretty decent price so I picked that up another croc it is missing the lid uh, that it would normally have come with but really great color a little damaged but still it doesn't bother me a ton another good deal I did decide to bring home the cow sketch ended up giving me a really great price on it so I didn't mind taking her home and I like the matting and the black frame so I just need to clean her up a little bit this is a little strange but I found these stands that look kind of mid-century I'm guessing they would have been used in a store display in some way and that's exactly how I'm gonna use them I found this pair of glass candlestick holders and they have the little handles the classic design that I've seen like this has been in brass but I found them in glass more candlesticks brass this time and another set I told you guys I'm like really into candlesticks right now I think it's because it's something small that anybody could pick up and take home and I can usually get them for a good price and then also sell them for a good price another little crock y'all saw me pick her up this really cute bust I don't know what she's made of it's got weight to it but it's not brass it's almost like it's a plaster I'm not entirely sure it has a, like a brass color to it but it's not made of brass I found this little pottery ashtray that I thought was really a, a great size and I love the color and design on this piece it is signed on the back I think on the tag it said it was from Puerto Rico and I don't think you have to use it as an ashtray if you don't want to you could put soap in it change rings jewelry earrings whatever you want super thrilled that I found another carved wood box and the surprising thing for me is it has the same lining as the other one that I picked up did carving goes all the way around so this was a given definitely bringing that home now I have to clean it up a little bit but the last piece I grabbed was this milk glass cheese ball keeper or holder isn't that so cute I've never seen one of these before but I thought it was absolutely adorable, would look great in anybody's kitchen. You don't have to put cheese in it if you don't want to. That needed to come home with me as well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring home the door or the tabletop that I was looking for. Hopefully they'll call me tomorrow with a price and we'll be able to get that in the next couple of days. I know originally I said I was looking for like an old door, but I really want something like long and narrow, kind of like how I had in my last reset. I had that wallpaper table that I put the legs on. I'm trying to go for a similar look just because that was such a great item to have in my space and people really like it for entry table or sofa table. So that is it for Vintage Vlogmas Day 7. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification. That way you can be notified for whenever I post a new video. And please follow me at Amanda's Mercantile on Instagram. That way you can see everything that I do behind the scenes. I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. All right, bye. Ooh, hair's in my face. <laughs>